I'm Bob Lujano, and NICIP stands for NICPAD's Inclusive Community Implementation Process. There are five new uh, states that have been awarded grants. They are Oregon, uh, Kentucky, Montana, Iowa, and New Hampshire, and have them develop an IHC, an Inclusive Health Coalition, come up with inclusion strategies in order to make changes for people with disabilities. And there's four stages to the process and about 12 steps. Once they've gone through that process, and it can take about a year, the objective then is to have that city prepared for one of our programs that we've adapted. Once we completed the process of developing IHC, which very much consists of people with disabilities in making decisions on what inclusion strategy should be. They're now prepared to take on the program. So my name is Lindsay Mullis. I'm from Kentucky, and we are here at NICPAD today to receive training. For me, specifically in Kentucky, we're looking at our SNAP-Ed program, so a nutrition program that's geared toward individuals of low income and making sure that that program and service is inclusive for all individuals. I'm Ann Crotty. I'm with Iowa, and we're working with NICEP to implement an inclusive Girls on the Run program. So it's super important for girls with disabilities to have opportunities to participate in physical activity with their peers because it builds friendship, confidence, and team building. Hi, I'm Meg Tracy. I'm at the University of Montana's Rural Institute for Inclusive Communities, and we're partnered with the Department of Public Health and Human Services on the NICEP grant to improve the reach and effectiveness of the diabetes prevention program with persons with disabilities. My name is Dylan Packabush. Um, I am from Portland, Oregon. We are here at NICPAD because we applied to be a test site to conduct the uh, Go for Life campaign curriculum or health promotion campaign. I'm Paula Smith and I am a community partner with the New Hampshire Institute on Disability. We are collaborating to implement uh, BMI2 and we're doing um, an adapted model so that we can be more inclusive of disabilities. I think one of the really nice things is to be here in a space with our program staff thinking about how we will engage our partners in the most efficient way. This training has been definitely one of my favorite trainings that I've been to. It's been really interactive and engaging and a lot of fun. There's activities in part of every little thing that we've been learning about that gives us an opportunity to not just talk about whatever the assessment or evaluation or the grade system, but then apply it to what it is that we're trying to take back to our home state. 